from that list of 12 to 15, I draw my latest number. I've used as few as three. Once in a while, I've used one. You said, well, if your next question is like, what are they? I'd say, um, it takes me one minute. Jesus died by crucifixion, number one. Number two, his disciples had experiences that they thought were appearances of the risen Jesus. Three, they proclaimed this event at a very early date, in fact, right away. Fourth, their lives were utterly transformed. In Bart Ehrman's words, he, this is, he's great on this. He goes, it's not the resurrection that found a Christian. And I'd dispute that with him, but he'd say, it's not the resurrection that found a Christian. It's the disciples' belief in the resurrection. And he said, once the disciples believed in the resurrection, they turned the world on its ear. Fourth point, because that's that transformation. If you turn the world on your ear and you walk away from tax collecting, four of them from fishing, you walk away from your business livelihood, you don't see your kids for a while, you walk away from your wife, you don't even bring money home when you come home because you're not making money, and you're gone and you're so mesmerized by this guy, you're following him for a career, and and you love him to death, Jesus, you love him to death, and and they're doing all this that's transformation and in acts chapter four and five you know when they say um quit preaching because they whipped him once peter says well you judge should we obey you or should we obey god and of course the famous statement we ought to obey god rather than men so that's transformation that's four and then five and six two skeptics it's most likely there's other views but only a minority of scholars think that james was a believer before the cross mostly think he became a christian after the cross but be but it had to have happened between the cross and the ascension because right after the ascension in acts 1 a bunch of christians are gathered in the quote unquote upper room and pretty soon they're choosing the 12th disciple to take judas to place well it gives a list of people who are there it says um the mother and uh, the brothers of jesus are there now, why is james there at the beginning and another maybe a deal that says this is just an inference why he may not have been there until the cross why does jesus give his mother to john instead of to james so it's sort of like where we say well i, I trust a believer more than an unbeliever so i think james's conversion is comes in between the cross and that upper room and then the last guy is of course paul so super fast crucifixion experiences believed to be resurrection appearances they began preaching immediately. Their lives were transformed, as Bart Ehrman says, turned the world on its ear. James becomes a Christian because he notices the resurrected Jesus. Paul becomes uh, a Christian on the way to Damascus through the resurrection Jesus. I, those are the six I use. And you're going to look hard to find an accredited scholar who's a specialist in New Testament. I say scholar because there's, there's some guy who just goes off without credentials and he's going to do ah oh, that they're all a bunch of baloney they're all because they know where we're going they don't want to go and i'm talking about a accredited scholar a terminal degree in a an accredit in a similar field so new testament maybe an old testament guy because he knows how to think about the new testament a new testament guy a theologian a classicist an archaeologist maybe um uh, a philosopher somebody in a relevant field and they know how to sift the, the data, and you are going to look hard to find anybody that denies any of those six.